The Earth is a magical place. All the creatures on it just going about their daily business in peaceful, serene tranquility. Except for those creatures that are specifically put on this Earth to mess you up. The Earth is awash with these terrors. The last thing seen by nearly everything that sees them. And today we're going to put two of them head to head. The Great White Shark and the Saltwater Crocodile. And no, they shall not hypothetically fight each other. I've seen that. It's lame. They would never fight each other because the universe would explode if that much concentrated death was ever mixed together in one place. No, no. Today, Versus is going to explore how deadly they would be to humans. Specifically, you. For knowing how deadly a crocodile is in general would be really important if you are a wildebeest, but I'm guessing there are statistically insignificant amount of wildebeest with a YouTube account, so I'm going to focus on the larger species that do have one. Therefore, what is more likely to kill you? Crocodile versus a shark. The saltwater crocodile is the largest and most intelligent reptile on the planet. This species has barely changed since the time of the dinosaurs due to evolution's rule of don't fix it if it ain't broke, where it, in this case, is the ability to kill like vengeance incarnate. Camouflaged just below the water's surface, the crocodile struggles to keep its boiling hatred for all living things at bay. Then some lamentable creature upsets the gods who rule them. And those gods cause them to wander close. With an explosive rush, it bursts out of the water, grabs its victim, and drags it back in, turning it over and over underwater until the prey either drowns, bleeds to death, or because all the organs of the body are attempting to flee in all directions from so much concentrated evil. You'll find saltwater crocodiles living all over the world, so there's lots of places they can ruin a perfectly good vacation full of not being eaten. There are several reasons a crocodile might attack a human. One, defense. If you are stupid enough to wander into a crocodile's territory and make it think you're about to mess with its nest, or happen to be nearby during breeding season, you're probably dead. Two, accidental. Maybe your choice to splash around in the water wearing that zebra costume wasn't the best idea. Three, bad attitude. Some crocodiles, on top of already being 99% pure Armageddon, are also blessed with a bit of a grumpy disposition and will attack anything that moves. And the most important reason for attack, at least the one you should remember, appetite. Maybe, just maybe, that croc pulling you into the water while chomping down of everything below the spleen isn't suffering from fear for its babies or a case of mistaken identity. It may actually want to eat you. And now, by contrast, the great white shark. Like deadly retribution from a vengeful god, this shark is a cold-eyed horror from the deep. Along with the crocodile, the shark wins evolution's coveted. No need to further evolve this creature because it's already maxed out at 100% pure evil award. Shark habitat is pretty much worldwide, but indeed, where the sea meets the land is where people continue to find themselves being digested. There are always lots of shark attacks every year worldwide, but the true number is likely higher since such attacks are bad for tourism and often aren't reported. Here are some of the different methods of attack the shark has in its binder of badass kung fu killing methods. The hit and run. Usually a single strike in a surf area as a result of mistaken identity. Thought you were someone else. Or territorial dominance. Get out of my ocean. Injuries are minor. The bump and bite. This is when the animal is hungry and surveys the prey in decreasing circles, finally bumping into the prey to smell them. If the smell is pleasing, the bite. Repeat visits are common and injuries are severe. So don't wear the old sea lion cologne to the beach. Sudden strike. This is often by the great white. Repeat visits are common and injuries are so severe that often death results. So, now that you're familiar with the mind extrudingly malevolent lethality of both animals, and you can appreciate they are both so full of hardcore concentrated doom, they could kill you so hard you'd be dead twice! 
Now, now is the time to decide which one has refined the art of human destruction down to a form pure enough to burn with the white hot flame of everlasting intensity! Well, the highest year for shark attacks was the year 2000, when worldwide 79 people were attacked by sharks and 11 of them died. And the croc death statistic? Well, again, not all croc attacks are reported. Partly because a lot of these attacks are in areas that are remote and impoverished, and also perhaps because the crocs will leave no trace. But per year, the figure is somewhere around 457, 311 of which are fatal. But it is not the number of attacks that should scare you. No, my friends, it is the math. Assume there are two of you. Alike in every way, right down to how spectacularly unlucky you are. One of you is attacked by a shark, the other by a croc. Based on the ratio of attacks to deaths, your chances of survival with a shark are around 86%. You see, sharks don't really eat people. Oh hell, that's not a sea lion. I don't know what that is, but based on what it tastes like, uh, it's full of chemicals and preservatives and parts of it seem to be made out of surfboard. And the other you? The one locked in the titanic struggle with the croc? This you has a 32% chance of survival. This, this is why the croc deserves the unremitting horror of your nightmares. The crocodile is the only predator on the planet that considers humans part of its natural diet. It's there to mess you up. It is not confused. It is not surprised! It wants you dead! And if it gets a chance, it will make it so! Due to the epic concentration of deadly crammed into every fiber of its being! The winner of this contest 